so I thought a great place to start out today would be um, this GitHub repository, Misconfiguration Manager, that has uh, um, gained a little bit of uh, traffic over the last week or so. Um, so I'm still diving through this a little bit myself, uh, but I think both of us are planning on, on giving this a, a, a serious look here in the coming days. Um, but basically, this repository is geared towards um, <clears throat> identifying some of the potential attack vectors for Config Manager. Um, as you can see here, as I scroll through the repository, you can see a table here on the uh, some of the different attack vectors that they've identified and what those uh, sort of what category those attack vectors land in, as well as uh, some things that we can do to not only prevent uh, but to perform some early detection on if somebody um, uh, was uh, trying to attack our config manager infrastructure. Um, so. Uh, thus far, like I said, this has been gaining a lot of traffic over the last week or two. Um, this is looking like a fantastic um, treasure chest of information um, and absolutely critical for uh, those of us that are maintaining uh, config manager environments as well. So I would encourage you to take a look at this and um, uh, see if there's anything that you might want to implement in your environment. Um, also came across this exciting tweet um, <clears throat> from Christian Brinkoff over at Microsoft. Uh, they released Christian and Per Larson uh, uh, along with a uh, uh, basically released the second edition of their Mastering Microsoft Intune book. Johan and I were, were big fans of this book, as it sounds like many others were in the community, which is fantastic. Um, so I wanted to call this out as well. Um, some as as you all know, if you're working with Intune or Entra uh, these days, you know that things are uh, changing and progressing very rapidly. Um, so I'm happy to see the second edition of this book um, uh, come out for for um, or publish get published rather. Excuse me, um, and we'll plan on picking it up myself as well. Uh, some other news and articles that I came across. Um, Microsoft announced earlier today um, that the preview of Copilot in Intune uh, will start rolling out April 1st. Um, so I'm excited to get my eyes on this as we see more and more of what Copilot can do uh, across some of our platforms. Um, it's interesting times, as we've discussed here on Office Hours quite a few times, so um, quite interesting to see what we have here. Um, just you can see in uh, <clears throat> in this first example, um, some of the examples that, that will be available to us to use Copilot. So um, show app installation failure, show me the apps on a particular device, um, policies assigned to this device. So there's some there's some cool opportunity there, I think. Um, and very interested to see uh, what's available to us. Um, so I would also encourage you, like the rest of these, to uh, take a look at this article and see what they have on the horizon here. Um, a, a couple of articles that I'm very uh, intrigued by. I'm going to be diving into these a little bit further. I did get to skim them a little bit, um, but absolutely be going through these this evening. Um, two articles thus far on a deep dive into the cloud management gateway um, in Config Manager. So part one here is surrounding the app registrations in Entra that we have to have available to us for the CMG to work properly. Um, so this was part one. And then part two here is diving into some of the cloud components, how the config manager, or I'm sorry, the CMG uh, is actually deployed using an Azure resource uh, management template um, <clears throat> to create all of the resources available in uh, that need to be available that make up the CMG, uh, goes through how those are created in Azure, um, and continues to deep dive in how all of these components, because there are a lot of components in the background that work together and, and work well to provide us the uh, what, what I think is uh, uh, pretty easy to use for um, considering its purpose. Um, but all of these things together really provide us the cloud management gateway function that we've come to know in Config Manager. Uh, 
Uh, so really exciting stuff here. We talk a little bit about the load balancer, all of the different resources, what they mean, what they do um, up in Azure. Uh, so if you're running a CMG, this is a great deep dive um, to help you understand what exactly is going on there. I came across uh, another blog post on Twitter um, from Ken Goosens. Um, <clears throat> so this is a remediation script uh, that will help ensure that your, um, your uh, devices that have moved over to auto patch or Windows updates in Intune um, from Config Manager. This is a topic that we've talked about quite a few times on here. There are a few blog posts we've shared even over the last couple of weeks um, from myself, from Ben Whitmore, uh, talking about how that can be a challenging transition. Um, and so Ken's got a, a great blog post here to add to, uh, to that repository, I'll say, um, <clears throat> kind of describing uh, the problem uh, and, and some of the things that we all have struggled with in making that migration, as well as a detection and remediation script to use with Intune to help, um, to help remediate some of these issues that we run across. Uh, so this is great stuff here. Uh, Ken's focus is on auto patch, but with a brief look through it, though I'll say I have not tested this myself, uh, I believe that this could be um, used with or at least altered to be used with uh, just moving the Windows Update for Business workload if you're using update rings. Um, so definitely going to be saving this off as well and uh, using that as that's a common problem that that we come across as we're working with with customers to um, make that migration over to Windows updates in Intune. Uh, last but not least, I wanted to share a blog post uh, from our friend Richard Hicks. He joined us uh, not last week, but two weeks ago, uh, wrote a blog post on how to use Intune's cloud PKI alongside Active Directory. Um, <clears throat> so uh, as Richard mentions here at the top, there have been plenty of blog posts and YouTube videos that have come out over the last couple of weeks uh, because everybody's been very excited about this, the, the potential for this solution. Um, so uh, numerous con a bunch of content has been created uh, to configure and deploy this solution. Uh, so his blog post isn't entirely going over that, but focusing on how to use Cloud PKI along with on-prem AD. So if you're in that situation where you are, you want to use PKI, you want to utilize the new Cloud PKI, but you need it with your on-prem Active Directory infrastructure, um, uh, Richard's blog post here will get you along that way. Uh, so great job here, Richard. Thank you for, for writing that up as well. So those were the things that I wanted to share today. Uh, a couple of bits of news, some new uh, book releases, really great stuff out there. It's been a busy week as always uh, here in the community. So thank you to everybody that has provided uh, uh, this content to the community. This is great stuff.